And just like that, a second spot in the round of eight has been claimed. Hello folks, welcome to my review for the Talladega full race. What was it? Was it the Yellowwood 500? Yeah. Uh, which is won by Ryan Bailey. Second across the line was Kevin Harvick by, what, a quarter, not even a quarter of a second. Uh, though, of course, we know he has been scored 38th uh, because of the windshield fasteners. So that meant the second scored was Byron, third scored was Hamlin. And now if you look at the points, on pure points, you've got first, second and fourth there, all sealed in. But let's talk a little bit about that race. It was it was an alright one, it was a fun one at Talladega. There weren't, you know, tons and tons of big ones, there were a couple of wrecks. But it was enjoyable to watch overall. Some of the bits you had to wonder what was going on such as the Keselowski crash with Carson Hosefar, who, I mean, I've watched Carson Hosefar race a couple of times. I've raced against him in iRacing. He, in, in the interview after the wreck, reminded me a bit like, he made me think, this would be what I would imagine George Russell as a NASCAR driver being like. But, yeah, that was, well, it could easily be the end of the playoff bids for Koslowski. I mean, he's currently 8th. So he's on the bubble. But he's got the 223.11 cars briefing down his neck. And Chastain isn't too far out either. So we could easily see something extreme happening at the Roval. I mean, it is the Roval, after all. But, yeah. Um... The 2311 cars performed quite well throughout the day, but there are a lot of phases where you didn't see any Toyotas in the top 10. And, in fact, um, after Hamlin, the next highest scored Toyota was Christopher Bell in 14th. Sure, he is the he is also in the playoffs. Martin Truex Jr. was 18th. Um, where was Ty Gibbs in the end? Um... I can't even remember where Ty Gibbs was. Um, I was given 34th because of that. Uh, oh, yeah, because of the wreck as well there. Uh, he was involved in that wreck with Josefar and Koslowski and Austin Dillon. But, yeah, the 23-11 has been working really well in the early phases of the race. And then at the end, Reddick's given 16 for Bubba Wallace. Tried to push her a third line late. Didn't work out. He's been usually really good at Super Speedway. He's, of course, his first win coming at Alladega. Didn't he come second in his um, first Daytona 500. Um, yeah, 23rd for the 23 car. But yeah, Kyle Busch down in 25th. Busch is pretty much must win for the Roval. There's no two ways about it. If that 8 is going to get into the final 8, he's going to have to win. Meanwhile, whilst we do have Byron and Blaney locked in on wins... Denny Hamlin is pretty much safe. Be surprising if he didn't, um, if he wasn't guaranteed safe. But anything could happen in NASCAR. And Bell, who had been clutch, must win in the round of um, eight in the round of twelve last season, is looking like he could comfortably get through both rounds this time by. Well, sixteen in the twelve, the eight. We'll have to wait and see. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.